Well, baseball season is here again, and it's time to break out those ball caps and cheer on our favorite teams. Since baseball played its first game way back in 1846, the baseball cap has been a symbol of our national pastime, and today that topper looks as good as ever. Yet some still try to unnecessarily reinvent the way we wear a baseball hat. Here's Fernando Rodney of the Tampa Bay Rays. Well, that's a thumbs down, F. Rod. If a ball cap were meant to be worn sideways, they'd put the logo on the side of the hat. That'd be like making pants with a fly on the hip or placing your hood ornament on the side view mirror. Besides, the cockeyed look has been tried before and it wasn't cool then either. And here's a tip for the youngsters. After purchasing your hat of choice, remove all price tags and stickers and labels. No need to advertise the hat size or price you paid. Nobody cares how big your skull is or how much it costs to cover it. This was done before as well, and it's not a good look. Now, go ahead and bend that brim. Go on, bend it. You're supposed to. If your optometrist were giving you a hat test, he'd put it to you this way. Is this better? Or is this better? Is this better? Or is this better? Is this better? Or is this better? There's no need to dumb down a hat that represents a true piece of Americana. Instead of changing the way you wear a baseball hat, why not try one of the many hats that already look ridiculous? Or maybe try this one. There's no wrong way to wear it. I'm Skip Parker, and like the fellow who wears this hat the right way, I'm just being frank.